Welcome to day four of Strixhaven Spoilers. I'm your co-host, Barry. You can find me on Otaku on TikTok. And I'm joined today with... And I'm Quest. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at QuestingBeaver. And I am Beaver Magic on TikTok as well. And uh, we are here on day four of Strixhaven Spoilers. Not much has spoiled, but we definitely have some card to talk about. Yep. And uh, Zimone, uh, Quandix... Uh, Quandrix? Yeah, uh, Quandrix Prodigy. Prodigy. Prod- Prodigy? All right. And it's a uh, blue and green, a linear creature, human cre- human wither, not human creature. Um, it's all uncommon, and it's a 1 2. And one mana, uh, tap it. Uh, you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield tapped. And for four mana, uh, tap it, draw a card. If you control eight or more lands, draw two cards. Okay. Definitely seems like a good landfall uh, creature for sure for landfall decks. Yeah, see, this this is what I was expecting from a Simic Commander. <laughs> you know, land uh, advantage and draw on all on one Commander for two mana. Yeah, um, <laughs> definitely seems like a fair Simic Commander. We we <laughs> definitely seem fair than uh, the Commander Precon one that just basically annoyed to project on a creature but yeah uh <laughs> definitely we'll see this in the 99 for a, lo- a lot of uh landfall decks like omnath um basically just a couple of the omnath decks but well yeah. so one of the things about this is that you 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 pretty much have a sakura tribe scout in the command zone yeah so that already takes away one of the combo pieces with the retreat to the the blue retreat Mm-hmm. That says untap this creature. Oh man, that's re- that seems really gross. I didn't think about that. Yeah, exactly. Like, if you if you keep on drawing, like I'm pretty sure there is like whenever you play land, draw a card, right? Yeah. So basically, you have AC. You, oh you have, my uh, Tat Yova. I did not think of that. That is right. pretty gross for a semi commander with that type of card, man. Exactly. And then like the moment you pair this up with, I want to say um Amulet of Vigor. Now those uh, uh, now you're paying one to yeah. bring it in so, untap. Luckily, it says tapped. It doesn't say put a land into play and well, it's untapped. But luckily, it says tapped. Well, yeah, but then that's why you had the amulet yeah, figure, yeah, so. or or anything like that. Because then then it's just like, all right, you're 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 gonna untap this creature, uh, put <laughs> as many lands down as you can draw. I mean, it's it's a little bit of Thrasios, it's a little bit of uh, amulet of uh, no, I'm not um, Sakura Tribe Scout. So it's. Yeah. It, it's a little. I looked at it as like it's a little unfair to have a combo piece in the command zone. Yes, um, <laughs> it's. It, it will be definitely cool to see it go off, but yeah, it's it's definitely gross. We got feel like if if you go off, you'll definitely get like ten land on battle. I feel like all right, yeah. well, then draw a land turn, go and like your opponent's ready on like three land or four. <laughs> it's like, uh, <laughs> excuse <funny>. me, <laughs> uh, and then the fact that you can if you get training grounds out here. Oh. You're, now you're for two mana. Or for two mana, you're tapping, drawing two cards, dropping a land, untapping her. Oh man! Yeah, I. It's just it's the gross Simic stuff. That what I what I was really expecting from the, our uh, Elder Dragon. <laughs> yeah. All right. Moving on from this card. Yeah. Moving on from this card, we got Ecological Appreciation X two and a green sorcery mythic search your library and graveyard for up to four creature cards with different names that each have mana value x or less and reveal them an opponent chooses two of those cards shuffle the chosen cards into your library and put the rest onto the battlefield exile ecological appreciation so basically it's gifts of gifts of given for creatures yeah <laughs> it's really really good um, don't know if it will go in my Hydra deck. Um, just because, like, the, the X cost. Like, if it was, like, one green and X, perfect. But oh. with the two, it's definitely... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Quest. Did you want this to be a Hydra tribal sorcery? <laughs> so you can get the plus four from Gargos? Oh, man. That would be pretty cool, but no. I mean, <laughs> this card is, is... Because it has the, the uh, graveyard attachment to it... Mm-hmm. It's pretty versatile because it is graveyard recursion pretty yeah. much in green. Yeah. It definitely like way better than like any two I've seen. But yeah, it's like get two creature on the battlefield. Like if you're ready, got like I think let's say thirteen mana, you do it for ten. Look for like your best creature, like Nick's move agent. 
Like yep. something Avengers in the car. I'm trying to think of like the worst like green creature. Or even like you could put this in probably two colors, but I don't think three colors. Yeah, three three, color, well, this is stretching. Well, I, I think it's it's possible just because it's only one green. So the color restriction isn't as harsh on this one. Yeah. If it had maybe two green in it, then it's like a little it becomes a little bit harder the more colors you start to add on here. Mm-hmm. Um but this one I feel like it, it's gonna be I look at it as the new tooth and nail. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's, it's a lot more before, flexible than tooth and nail because, yeah. you know, you can put whatever into X that you need to. Yeah. Yeah. So you just get your four combo pieces. Yeah, but the downside <laughs> is that your opponent gets to choose what combo piece you could keep. They yeah. could play like the post like most like better ones like Kiki Jiki, or you get like those contracts. Like, all right, you put Kiki Jiki back, but you get Zealous. Like, definitely rough. Yeah, but I mean, you know, but you know. Even though there's choices, I mean, people still play Factor Fiction. Yeah. You know, so it's all about trying to make the best choices and trying to make your opponents make the hard choices. Yeah, that is definitely true. Right. And so, I, yeah, I think this is a really great uh, mythic for green for this set. Yeah. All right. The next next one is Drexhaven Stadium, a three mana artifact. Uh, tap it, add one waste, uh, put a point counter on Strixhaven Stadium, and whenever a creature deal combat damage to you, remove a point counter from Strixhaven Stadium. And whenever a creature you control deal combat damage to an opponent, put a point counter on Strixhaven Stadium. And then if there are 10 or more point counters on uh, Strixhaven Stadium, remove all of them, and target player loses the game. Now, this is definitely an EDH card right here. Or even, like, maybe, like, a cyber control card in... Um, standard too, but definitely just EDH. Like you have like Semic for like proliferating this card, like abusing the crap out of it. Just make just remove ten, just lose a game. Yeah. It's <laughs> definitely a fun card. Yeah, I I saw it as like well, it's a it's a mana rock for three, for, and you only get one. Which you know, I, I feel like the more um, fast uh, EDH becomes, we usually tend to gravitate towards the two drops. But just having this possibility of killing somebody by just removing counters yeah it, it's a fun little interaction i, I think it, it's very cheeky yeah <laughs> <laughs> then if you have like doubling season just two counters like it just seems really good i mean like you could definitely like probably pop this off if you had doubling season and like have like i think probably five creatures out right like cool or no not even five to four and then like if you could tap it already like oh, it just seems really gross this will be nuts in any token deck just oh, because yeah. like I, I i didn't read it before but the fact that it just says whenever a creature you control it doesn't say whenever a creature or whenever like a creature or more oh so yeah each creature is gonna be an instance of putting a counter on mm-hmm. this Wow, that's <laughs> that's just another like you lose the game card. Yeah, it is. It's a, it's a you know for token decks, it's going to be an easy um, door to nothingness. Mm-hmm. <laughs> door to nothingness. Yeah. <laughs> all right, looking right. at my top three for uh, the, the spoilers. Uh, all right, we'll go first one. Uh, teach by example, a uh, hybrid colored for red blue uh, two, and is is an instant. And uh, when you cast your next spell, uh, and so. Um, not an expo, uh, and so sorcery spell this turn. Copy that spell. You may choose a new target uh, for the copy. Mm. Definitely. It's a popper card because it's common. That card going to be really good in popper. <laughs> but in EDH, definitely seem good. Just copying like another extra turn for like two mana. It's definitely down my lane. They're... I like how your mind always just goes to extra t- <laughs> <laughs> Or like maybe, yeah, uh, maybe draw spell. <laughs> But yeah, definitely a good card. Yeah, uh, uh, when I first read this, uh, I was I was perplexed. I was like, "Why is this a common?" But then I just saw it's only cards that you control, so that's what makes it fair. Yeah, uh, just because you know, um, I love to use uh, like twin cast and all that stuff uh, whenever I'm playing a non green deck. Just mm-hmm. to like, all right, I'll twin cast or uh, cultivate. Yeah, that too. Yeah, so for this one, yeah, just copying extra turns, copying possible da- like dam- x damage spells yeah you can't be like a torment yeah, all right i'll copy it you're all dead anyway yeah, yeah like, exactly just- <laughs> yeah but i mean for you when you have the advantage it's just a nice little extra add-in yes you know when you when you're playing cards like twin cast reverberate and yeah. all that stuff all right uh, moving on to the next card echoing equation two blue three colorless uh that the other side no wait three blue two colorless it's two blue Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. <laughs> I was about to say. 
<laughs> and it's sorcery speed. And choose target creature you control. Each other creature you control become a copy of it until the end of turn. Except those creatures aren't legendary. <laughs> if the chosen creature is legendary, why? <laughs> why? Oh. <laughs> Oh man, you know the the fact that this is uh, the double moto. This is a double moto card, and so the front side is actually a green creature. So this is like, why would you put this in a simic colors? Yeah, it, so the other side is a two, a two green, one colorless, and it's a three three. And if you control eight or more lands, it becomes an eight eight. Yeah, which but, is really good for yeah standard. standard. Definitely a standard playable. But this other side. In EDH, just, let's just say uh, Kamal, the new Kamal that, like, at the beginning of your <laughs> combat, each creature get plus three, th- plus three. And you have his vendors in the card with, like, let's say seven tokens. Copy. I have all Kamals. Go to combat. I'll get, like, I don't know, eight times three, 24, 24. <laughs> like, what is this? <laughs> exactly. It's oh, it's so nuts. You know, um, like, you know, you could maybe maybe that's not what your deck does. But, you you know, uh, you're like, all right, let me make all my to- plant tokens into Nyx Bloom Ancients. Or oh. they're all Galtas. <laughs> Galta. Or even, like, a Tali. A Tali seems gross. Oh, my card. God. Oh, my God. In a Teamer <laughs> deck, you're like, oh, all right, man. I have. Have ten Atali's, ten Atali triggers. Like any like type of trigger that doesn't require ETBs. Oh, dude, that just seems. Uh... Yeah. Um. Well, look, the thing that I saw this for uh, was it kind of reminded me is a uh, mirror weave. It's a Nazorius card. Instant. It says it has instant right. So the fact that it says choose non legendary creature. All creatures become a copy of that creature. Yeah. That's what it reminds me of. But the fact that this removes the legendary rule on all the creatures. It's going to get nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, it's only in Semic colors, but that's all you need, just Semic, just to make, to be this card. Oh, man. Yeah. So, I, I could see this. Like, I, I can see a lot of people who have either Semic or Teamer colors or Sultai colors just slotting this in just to try yeah. it out and finding out how busted it could be depending <laughs> on the creature that you're going to copy. Yeah. It's yep. definitely something gross. All right. Moving on to the last one. Uh, Approach of the Dragon. Oh, intervention. Oh, yeah. Oh, approach yeah. of the Dragon. Sorry. Right there. Approach of the Dragon. Uh, one red and two colorless sorcery. Approach of the Dragon deal three damage to each opponent. You may exile the Approach of the Dragon and four other cards named Approach of the Dragon from your graveyard. And if you do, search the library for a dragon card and put it into, onto the battlefield and itself your library. A deck can contain any number of cards <laughs> called Approach of the Dragon. This card is going to be really funny in EDH. Not so standard. <laughs> I mean, it could be played standard, but in EDH, so this card will be hilarious. Like, I can see someone playing, like, 30 of these. Like, all right, catch my fifth one. Time to actually all of them all. Get, like, a big fatty dragon. <laughs> like, you you already got your opponents down to, like, 15, like deal 15 damage already or, like, something else. But, yeah, this card seems really good. Yeah, just, uh, like, it's very fitting that it's just a common card, so it's popular legal, but... This is just hilarious that the fact that it says that you can contain any number of these in your deck. Mm-hmm. It's red, relentless rats. It's, yeah. It's red. Um, what's that? What black creature? Uh, not relentless. Um. Oh, um, oh, shadowborn apostles. Oh yeah, shadowborn apostles, <laughs> and even like seven doors. But yeah. It's... But I mean, like, okay, so the fact, like, in EDH, how many of these do you really play? Thirty to twenty. Or twenty thirty, I will play just just for the lulls. <laughs> uh, yeah, this almost would seem like a meme deck. Uh, if if I was building something that centered around this, I would probably go for like twenty four. Yeah, that's eight. Oh no, actually, you need five. So I would probably do thirty. That's six instances of getting free dragons. On yeah, the, the, the thing is, like, uh. it deal three damage to each opponent, which is really good. I thought I thought it would deal three damage to each creature for three mana. Like, ooh, oh, that would for a common. Be. Yeah, <laughs> but uh. yeah, this this is definitely a good card. Yeah, all right, let's let's get to my top three for this set. Uh, for the first one, I got Accomplished Alchemist, three and a green creature, Elf Druid, tap. Add one mana of any color, or you can tap add X mana of any one color, where X is the amount of life you gain this turn. So as I was showing Quest this card, I was just like, uh, this is busted in any Tristani deck, because you could Phyrexian Processor pay 39 life, tap 4, gain 39 life, make 39 one mana, untap it. It's it's just, it, it is, uh, what's a Karametra's Acolyte on... On drugs, <laughs> in any life gain deck. That's real, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess that's uh, 
that's a combo, you know. <laughs> <laughs> really, really happy to play against that sometime. <laughs> uh, but all seriousness, yeah, definitely a good card um, for DH. Um, not so standard nor historic, not in the little format, but definitely a DH card. Just because it's Elf Druid, like you could have put in like Elves and you have like Well Wish or like gain like, I don't know, like, oh 10 my life. God. Like, I, I, it's really good. Um, no, no. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this is this is an easy slot in any Selesnia life gain deck. I'm, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Selesnia player, Selesnia life game players out there in the world are just drooling over this yes. monster of a of a mana dork. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, next thing we got is Eureka Moment two and Simic instant draw two cards. You may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield, and, right. and it's a common. <laughs> Uh, I think they messed up on a card by not by putting two colorless in, so it's been <laughs> green and blue. <laughs> A uh, better girl spiral and then just get banned the next day tight but uh yeah <laughs> it's yeah. really good i mean yeah it, it's just another instant draw card draw two cards and pretty much a regrowth so it's it's a little bit of two cards in one the fact that it's uh four is what makes it fair <laughs> yeah not like girl spiral where you draw a card and put a land into play yeah That's this yeah this is like more of fair. I feel like this should have just been one colorless and Simic. Let's be real. One, the three mana. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, yeah, this looks like a three man. I mean, no, I, no, I actually never mind. That card would get banned if it was three. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Three mana to draw two and just like uh, put a land. Like this is way better than those, like four mana, like scry two, draw two oh, type of things. So Are no, you, no, 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 scry two, draw two, put a land. On <laughs> yeah, like oh my goodness. Uh, like 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 a, like Simic needed any more help, right? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and then for my last card for uh, for the day, it's gonna be Intervention of the Dragon. It's two red red sorcery as an additional cost to cast a spell, exile instant or sorcery from your graveyard. Intervention of damage uh, of of the dragon deals X damage to each non dragon creature, where X is the value mana value of the exile card. If a creature dealt the damage this way, would die this turn. Exile it instead, and then you exile Intervention of the Dragon. Good board wipe. Definitely a good one for EDH, of course. But uh, standard too, like it, like just exile all creatures that die. Like you could exile like a four mana spell, deal four good damage to each creature because like majority of format will be like low to ground decks, like just one ones, two twos. Like that's what that's why I get the vibe off of um, from like majority of like uh, red and boros colored and all that yeah i think this is a pretty decent uh board wipe it's 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 a it's doing a little bit of a poor impression of that seven drop uh sorcery that you would return an instant or sorcery from your graveyard deal that much damage to each creature really you know, you know what i'm talking about no i do not yeah it's a it's, it's a seven drop uh red sorcery red sorcery okay yeah yeah i forgot i forgot what the ca- uh, card was called uh, i'm pretty sure someone in the comments will Will like be like, hey, stupid! This is it. <laughs> like it, it sounds like a Sarkin's, um, uh, Sarkin's on ceiling. Yeah, or it sounds, yeah, of sorceries. It sounds yeah. like that. But I mean, yeah. you know, like uh, the fact that the 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 big selling point for me was that when the creature would die, exile it. Yes, that's the that just that the kicker right there. That that's why we're on man. Like, all right, <laughs> put that in. <laughs> Yeah, especially for like, especially when you're playing big mana spell, like big uh, spell slinger type of decks, and you have these huge spells in your graveyard. Sometimes these mono green decks are getting out of hand, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, like if you exhale, like, all right, I'm gonna discard like this big mana spell, like energy infinite. Let's just say that. Oh my god, yeah, you're like, cool. 11. I'm gonna just deal eleven damage to everything. All right, all right, exile all your boards. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's one of the big selling points. I mean, if it was just just a regular like they just go to the bin, it's just another sort of good red board wipe. Yeah. Uh, but one of the best things that you could do, especially in in EDH, is exile creatures. Because sometimes for specific decks, graveyards just become a second hand. Yes. Yeah. All right. I think that's all the spoiler for today. Yeah. Yeah. It's today like... was pretty light on the spoilers, unfortunately. So yeah. hopefully we get to see um, the last Elder Dragon, which was the Wither Bloom. And hopefully tomorrow we get to see Jink Taxis. No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. You know, I, I, I've been wrong plenty of times. But yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow, hopefully we'll get to see a little bit more of the Wither Bloom school. Yeah. Because we haven't really seen too much of it. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for today for day four spoilers my name is barry and my name is quest and this is the scry guys